So we're back at the shop and we're gonna talk about window restoration, fixing windows. Now, we get a lot of calls from people that my windows don't work, my windows are broken, I gotta get new windows, all because they're overwhelmed by something that's actually very simple. Most likely it's been painted shut. You essentially have a weighted window, we have a pulley, and we have a rope with a weight on the end of it. And this goes through there and goes down and attaches to your sash. And this hangs freely like this. And as the window goes up and down, this moves up and down. So the window should be actually be very light. So I'm gonna show you how to repair your windows so that's gonna last a very long time. The window sits in a jam, okay? And that jam is built like a track system, okay? So you can kind of see that track right here as it goes up and down, right? There's a track for the upper sash, there's a track for the lower sash. All we have to do to get access to this window is take off one track stop, I'll call it. So this is the window stop. I'm gonna put my hammer in here and I'm gonna pry this, pry this piece of molding loose, okay? All the way down. It's usually held in by four or five nails. Once I get it started, I don't even need the hammer anymore, okay? My stop comes out, right? Once that track is out, okay, I have complete access to this sash, okay? All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift it up and I'm gonna pivot it out, and it, out it comes, okay? Now, what you'll notice is there is a slot cut in the side of your sash where the old rope is, okay? This is actually nailed in in many cases. There's our nail. We're actually gonna pry this piece out, do the same thing on the other side. So now we got our ropes out, and one of the, th the other kind of major problem we hear from people about windows is that they are leaky and inefficient. Well, if you'll notice this uh, wood spot here or wood spot here, um, the glazing's fallen out. After 100 years, right, we probably have to replace it. It's not a 200 year product, it's a 80 to 100 year product. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm actually just gonna go along here and I'm just gonna get out any kind of loose glazing. I'm not gonna try to get out the stuff that isn't loose, I'm just gonna get the loose stuff out. Now I'm gonna dump it, right? I'm just gonna get that off here. Now, we're gonna take this material we're gonna need it, okay? My guys have already made their glazing balls with these things, but we're gonna need it because it's a little bit like uh, Play-Doh right now. So I'm just gonna lay it down on here and I'm just gonna start slowly laying it out and pressing it in, all right, getting it started. This is the rough push-in, right? This isn't the final push-in. We're just trying to get enough in place here so we don't have holes when we draw our putty knife across here later, okay? So now put that back in there. I'm just gonna come in here and even steady pressure, pitch the putty knife. I'm just slowly drawing it along the edge of the window. Wrap that up, come along here, pick this up. All right, all that picks up very easily. Now I can come along with my finger wherever is rough. Here's some old glazing that was actually still in good condition, so we're not gonna worry about digging that out because it caused too much damage to the glass. It is not gonna dry immediately, and I'm ready to put the window back in. You know, we do a lot of window restoration work, so we actually buy spools of, of window sash weight. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a knot, a really tight knot here at the end, and I'm gonna put it right into that little hole, right, that we had before that we pulled it out of. And I'm gonna get one of those nails, I'm gonna nail it back in. I'm gonna take this other loose end, I'm gonna cut it off. I'm gonna run it through my pulley here, right? This is now back over here. I'm gonna tie my rope to this weight and we will have a free swinging window here in just a sec. So I'm gonna loose knot here. This is not a final knot, right? And then I'll do the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna fit it back in the groove. Remember, we pulled it out of that groove. Just get it up a little bit, falls back into place. I take my stop, I put it back on, right? Remember, it just fits right in here. Nail that back in place, right? And here's my sash, okay? It's fitted back in the jam. 
and I've got a free swinging window. This is a great project for any old house owner. Don't throw out your windows. They are long lasting virgin heartwood windows that will last for another hundred years if you know how to take care of them.